Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Discover More About Site Establishment Formwork and Framing second edition webinar. I'm Emma Thomas, Campaign Manager at VET at Pearson Australia and with me this afternoon to take us through the features of this new edition is Andrew Brock, the Senior Acquisitions Editor for this title. So just quickly, hopefully we're going to be able to answer all of your questions throughout this webinar. However, if you do have a question, please make sure you submit it to us and we'll loop back at the end to answer any remaining questions that there may be. So today, Andrew's going to take us through the qualifications and competencies that Site Establishment Formwork and Framing 2E supports, what you're going to love about this new edition, so some of the new features, uh, time to get technical, so understanding the technology options that are available with this edition, how to save time, so the teaching and instructive resources that are available if you do decide to adopt, and finally, how you can get your hands on a copy. I'm now going to hand over to Andrew who's going to take us through the qualifications and competencies. Thanks, Emma. The new edition of Site Establishment Formwork and Framing by Adrian Laws has been written for CPC 08 Construction, Plumbing and Services Training Package version 8 to address relevant competencies within the following two courses, as you can see there. That's the Certificate 3 in Carpentry and the Certificate 3 in Carpentry Joinery. Now, all of the competencies that you'll see on the next slide are addressed in this new edition are from the common carpentry, steel fixing and concreting streams. When Adrian was writing this edition, he made sure to increase the quantity of content for each competency that students, so students and lecturers, would be able to use this whole edition as a standalone resource to learn and instruct from these competencies if they wished. Now Adrian's experience has been mainly in housing in Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria and he has more than 21 years teaching experience in the VET sector. He is currently teaching trade and post-trade carpentry, carpentry students for TAFE. Now what you're going to love about this edition? Now this new edition addresses 14 competencies in, in 14 competency specific chapters. So lecturers and students will be able to use this text, text and each chapter within it to address specific competencies. So each of these chapters are standalone addressing a particular competency. Another key thing with this new edition is the layout has been much improved. In response to reviewer feedback, we're now having a two column layout and the overall depth of content has been increased. So there's been nearly a 70% increase in the actual page length of the new edition as opposed to the first edition to aid student understanding and also to help you with delivery. Now a key criticism of the first edition was that lecturers and students needed to supplement the content with additional resources. Now with the additional content we've added, as I mentioned, nearly 70% more we have tried to best rectify this situation. With the two column design, it now follows the same layout as basic building and construction skills and the advanced building book. And also, I should mention too, the book by Glenn Coston, Construction Skills. Now a new chapter has been added, that's it, a whole new chapter, that's chapter 14, Constructing Bulkheads which addresses the elective competency of the same name. Now it contains the latest up-to-date content in this area and it will allow RTOs to expand their scope of delivery should they wish to. Another key feature is the new how-to feature which we introduced in that text I just mentioned earlier, Construction Skills by Glenn Coston. Uh, we've introduced it into the new edition of Site Establishment Formwork and Framing as we had such a great response to it in Glenn Coston's Construction Skills book. Now this new feature, this how-to feature, is signposted with the thumbtack icon and the helpful heading with the black bar, so it's easily identifiable in the text by both lecturers and students. This new learning feature provides helpful step-by-step -step procedures that clearly set out installation processes using a combination of photographs, illustrations and text. And as you'll see within the photographs and illustrations, they're also clearly labelled so that students can understand or be shown the various components of the particular 
illustration or photograph. Now aside from the textural content, the 70% increase I mentioned earlier, the visual content has also been greatly increased and this has also been in response to reviewer feedback. The new edition now has more than 380 line drawings and photographs which to really enhances student understanding of key concepts, processes and products. Now key points within these figures have, as I mentioned earlier, been clearly labelled and as you can see there from that selection on those facing pages before you, that's a really good combination of photographs to illustrate uh, the process in situ and also illustrations which give you a nice three-dimensional view of the particular element that's being described. Now I just wanted to take you briefly to also the, the, the technology options that accompany this new edition of the text. Um, it's going to also include a Pearson e-text. I'll take you through some of the more pertinent features of this e-text and I've used the e-text from the first edition as an example for this version for the new version of the e-text and what it will be like. It's currently in development. The first question you may have is, what is the e-text? Now, if you haven't used it before, it's a product with great functionality and is designed to aid your teaching and learning and quickly move you into flexible and online delivery. Firstly, it's basically a customizable online version of the textbook. It's browser-based, so you can look at view it through your Internet Explorer, Safari, Firefox, Google Chrome, whatever browser you're using, and it can be viewed while online. This means that all of the personalization that you create, and I'm going to describe a bit, a bit later, will be available whenever you log in, and that's from any computer or device. It is the same page layout as the printed text, so you and your students can use either e-text, printed text, or both in different situations and you won't be confused by the print-based or the e-text version as they'll be exactly the same. Now the e-text can also be used in the classroom and I know there's a number of lecturers that are already doing this as it has the smart board function. So this allows for certain areas of the text, e.g. a case study or an activity, to be discussed collaboratively in the classroom. Another key feature is making highlights as you work through the text and it's useful for both students and teachers. Now this provides visual ease when one returns to the content and can identify where important pieces of information are found. Now highlights can be done in different colours as you can see the light blue there in the slide and enabling you to know what each highlight means. So you can change the colour depending on it may be something that's important for the exam, a useful example or just a useful section of uh, content that you'd like your students to look at more closely. Now notes can also be added to highlighted content to make for better learning. Now these notes can be easily retrieved from the left hand navigation bar and you can see the notes bar there second from the bottom. Now how can the e-text be individualised for you and your class? So as we mentioned earlier the e-text is available as both the student version and an educator or lecturer, lecturer version, and those notes, you can choose to make them hidden, i.e. so your students don't see them, or shared so students do. Uh, you can see they're in different colours there, the green or the yellow to differentiate them. You can create a hyperlink in a note, and this enables you to link out to additional information in terms of relevant standards, legislation, videos, other useful websites, this might be suppliers websites for particular specifications that you're looking at for, for example, timber or readings. And of course you can link to YouTube where you can find useful do-it-yourself how-to videos. Now you'll find all of your notes and highlights. You can go to find all of your notes and highlights, I should say. You can go to the notes manager, which is in the left-hand navigation sidebar. Another really important feature of the e-text accompanying site establishment form work and framing is the site feature. It's a big time saver in contrast to the hard copy text as it allows a faster, more effective search of content, not flipping and flipping back and forward between pages. The searching functionality allows you to limit your search to specific regions, provide helpful page previews when searching, 
your search history is saved for you so yourself or your students can go back to particularly important searches when they need to and the sort can be the results of your search can be sorted by relevance or chapter and you can also limit the search to a particular section of the book. Another important issue, another key issue to address is how can the e-text be individualised for you and your class. Now you can start by creating what we call a course via the settings and create new course tabs. Once you've created a course you can go to settings Customise e-text to review or edit the table of contents, hide or change the order of chapters or indeed sections within chapters. Now this is useful if you choose to deliver the content in a specific way and you can choose to change the chapter order or hide content and reveal it as you proceed through the course. This gives you control as a teacher on managing your lesson and if you wish not to overwhelm your particular students with comp with content, uh, content or if you're teaching a particular competency or competencies you can choose to just reveal those particular ones for your students. Another new key feature of the e-text is the editable PDF versions of the end of chapter worksheets. Now this example is from the first edition of this text and this allows students to complete and submit formative assessment electronically. So this is ideal for students that are working either remotely, now that may be from home, they may be working out of a computer lab on campus or from the library or indeed anywhere with a laptop. So they can download the editable versions of the end of chapter worksheets, those worksheets you know from the, the print based text and then they can fill out the relevant questions and then submit them via email. They can attach them to an email and send them through to you. Now if you've got any more questions on the e-text and its functionality, just visit that URL there uh, and that will provide all of the answers you need. I just wanted to also touch on the instructor resources which accompany the text and are for adopters of the text. Now this is a whole suite of resources to really help you save time and to, to make teaching easier for you. Now these can include solutions to those end of chapter worksheet questions we mentioned earlier, a bank of PowerPoint slides for each chapter which have been put together by a, a fellow uh, vocational carpentry teacher and they've also been arranged so that they will follow your particular lessons or a suggestion of how you could deliver your lessons and then an image bank of all 380 line drawings and photographs within the text and as I said these are available for adopters and they can be used both online, they could be loaded up to your learning management system for example if you're using Moodle and they can also be used through a data projector in the classroom for classroom delivery. Now to help show you where training package content is covered we're also putting together a CPC08 version 8 mapping grid which maps chapters to competencies but more importantly maps the chapter to the elements within the competency and that's both the underpinning theoretical knowledge and also the worksheet questions. Great, thank you so much Andrew for taking us through some of those features of the new edition. Uh, we've had a couple of questions come in and the first one is how does the new edition help me to deliver to my students? Uh, just on that one Emma, the um, competency specific chapters as I said it addresses 14 competencies across 14 chapters means that lecturers and students can work through these chapters and know they have all the relevant underpinning knowledge for the particular competency that they're delivering or they're learning about. Now similarly the end of chapter worksheet questions ensure students have formative assessment so they can test and you can test their knowledge of the particular chapter content. Great, thanks Andrew. Um, another question, it's how can the e-text be used to deliver assessment online? Uh, the end of the chapter worksheets as I mentioned earlier within the e-text are provided as editable PDF files and this allows students to complete their end of chapter assessment digitally and email it through to their RTO, uh, to their RTO and lecturer. 
Great. And I've got another question here. What is the cost of this new edition? Uh, the new edition is costed uh, at about fifty nine ninety five, uh, but I will confirm that with you. So uh, I will just send that. I can send that information through to you. Okay, great. Um, if you want to get your hands on a copy, uh, or if you do have some other questions, please contact your edu education consultant or the VET hotline. Alternatively, you can visit us on the website at www.pearson.com.au slash vet for more information. Um, that will give you all the package prices, so for the text alone or the text with e-text. So if you want to go on there and have a look, that hopefully that will give you a bit more information about those as well. Thank you very much for your time today, Andrew, and thank you to all of our attendees.